Shall we begin? Let's begin. So finally, I have got to take a chance to see what everybody was talking about. You know, it took me a while, and season two is coming up pretty soon. I believe next month. But I finally got to watch the boys and i got to say um man was i surprised i'm i'm surprisingly like really i really dug this show at the end of it all uh is it a perfect show no because there's a couple of gripes i have with it uh, especially from the beginning but when it uh, as the show went along i absolutely just got invested with a lot of these characters i definitely got invested with the uh superheroes quote unquote and i got invested of just the overall storyline it's it's basically injustice if it was really brought into a realistic light you know i mean you got your batman you got your superman but all these superheroes are they're still as super as they are they're still human they're very psychotic i mean imagine getting the ability to uh, any abilities but let's say you're homelander and you get all the abilities of superman that's a big ego boost right there that's that's a that's the idea of you're god and nobody could touch you you cannot be harmed and this is what i love about the show is that these normal uh beings so to speak uh they have circ- there's there's a reason why they're going after a lot of these soups uh my one of my favorite characters in the show already is uh the great uh, Carl Urban who plays Butcher or Butch and he is he is fantastic man he reminds me a lot of John Constantine uh he's a very anti-hero and he's not he's not trying to it's all about revenge for this guy you know and he kind of he what i love about it is that when it comes to revenge, and there's a certain, uh, there's a reason why he wants to take out a lot of the soups, but especially Homelander. Uh, a lot of shows, or a lot of comics, or a lot of the written material that we have, a lot of times, you know, I mean, look at the the recent Last of Us game. That revenge factor doesn't really play out too much. Either the character changes, or it, or they just evolve but with this show you could tell butch is in it for the, he's in it like he's putting all his chips down the line he wants revenge no matter the cost uh and you gotta i kind of appreciate that he's sticking with his guns he understands what these guys are capable of. he's basically batman from batman v superman where he's not taking any chances in this series now the the person that we're like related to the person that we're kind of going along with is huey because he has this tragic story there's a reason why he gets thrown with the boys which is funny fact is if you read the comics uh huey is based off simon pegg and i love that they brought simon pegg to be huey's dad in the series now this actor who plays huey he does a great job i think he has that nice you know innocence look to him and then he has that calming voice but he's doing he's doing acts that he wouldn't be never caught dead being in and i think that's what is very fascinating with the show is that you see huey's growth and you see huey you know no not turning back and this is this is why i like him so much uh and then of course you know his girlfriend gets uh, absolutely obliterated (laughs) by one of the soups um so i call them the soups because these are all there's this government or this is there's this uh i guess you say press team i think it's called vault and they have all these uh they have the seven the seven who are basically the justice league and the the seven is basically uh the you know they're perceived as goody two shoes always uh always for the people and then i don't know how many times in this series where homelander goes no 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 you know round of applause you're the real heroes you're the real you know i don't know how many times he does that in this series um, but I love how it's a propaganda kind of type deal. It's definitely showing that the media could definitely play with so many people's emotions. A lot of people think these guys are heroes, but in the show, they really pull the layers back and you see how despicable a lot of these, the seven are. I mean, there is a couple that are really, um, you know, they're all for it. They, and maybe at one time they were all for, uh, justice and saving people but then you see it in time it's about the money it's about the image so it's not necessarily what they truly wanted to do in the beginning uh the only one that's super innocent is the new member that's coming into the seven uh the seven and that's uh starlight and starlight 
I like the actress. She reminds me of another actress, but I like the actress and I like her powers. Uh, I really like the glowing of her eyes. I think the special effects is good and many times, but then sometimes it's a little bit eh, okay. The budget wasn't really there, you know. Uh, so she is she's the most innocent out of all these guys. Even though you know, there's one instance that are like you know she got pressured into doing, which I will not uh, spoil anything for you guys, but you got to watch it. Um, I really like Deep. Deep is like the Aquaman of the team, and it's hilarious following this guy. This guy is, it's basically somebody who wrote, okay, Aquaman is a joke. Let's make him a joke in here. You know, let's see why he's considered a joke in the Justice League. It's hilarious. I, lo- I love what they do with that character. And I do like that at the end, what they do with that character. And you got to kind of watch and see his growth. And you got to kind of see. You'll, you, I think you'll really like, you appreciate uh, the Aquaman-like character in Deep. Uh, Homelander. Homelander, my God. I think I haven't seen such a great villain in such a while. Homelander is and it's so funny because he is supposed to embody the perfect Boy Scout, but he's not. He's not the perfect Boy Scout. He's very sadistic. He's very creepy. He's obsessed. Uh, this dude really, this is a guy. This is Superman if, you know, Batman was right and Batman v Superman. That you really can't, he's such evil inside and I, and I love how the actor portrays him I, I think the actor does a fantastic job as homelander and i like the name homelander i love the suit i love the cat like the captain america like cape in the back uh this guy is definitely it kind of like, reminds me of a dc marvel kind of crossover and this whole show reminds me of watchmen i think uh i think this is as close to a new generation kind of watchmen you're going to get I don't know how too much... I haven't read the graphic novel, but the series itself is really just doing... I think it's paying a lot of good uh, homage... Or uh, just doing a step-by-step with that comic, and I think they're doing a great job adapting it from it. So, Homelander, a fantastic villain. I think... I can't wait for uh, what what's going to happen, you know, with a, lo- a lot of the storylines that's happening in this series. Uh, I think the boys group... I mean, I, what was so funny is Frenchie, in the beginning, when we get introduced to Frenchie... He's such a different character in that beginning. But then, like, somewhere there's a change, and he's, like, a saint. It's it's so weird. I mean, I, I, I like Frenchie. I think Frenchie's a great character, too. He's definitely more of a calming, uh, comic, little bit of a comic relief through the series. But it's so odd to see him start off in the beginning and then switch somewhere along the lines, but in a good way. Uh, that makes the boys a little bit more have them a little bit more camaraderie because you need like the level the, the guy who's kind of like the spiritual guy and that's basically kind of like Frenchy a little bit, and then you have Mother's Milk, and oh, man, <laughs> I, I, I love the act. The actor has so much charisma and is he can bounce off with any of those characters. He can bounce off with Frenchy, Huey, and of course Butch. I mean, he is Butch's best mate, and I think uh, Mother's Milk. And then, and then the phone. There's one scene where he has a phone call. And he's talking to his girlfriend because his girlfriend doesn't know he's doing all this. He's going, you know, investigating soups, trying to take down the soups, and he's just like, "Nah, baby." He's like a correctional officer, I believe, or uh, yeah, he's he works for the prison. Um, and he's like, "I'm gonna get home and massage your feet. We can go spend money." Like this guy is, he he has great comedic comedic uh, moments, and then he's also he could be serious too. He could also be he's more of the level. He's definitely the level guy of the whole group. He knows that this is not we shouldn't be doing this, but he does it because maybe some moral to Butch or you know he he doesn't want to see people die. But he, he gets invested in it. He gets invested in what the boys are trying to do. And I think the boys' whole crew is just a fantastic watch because this is where you're watching it. You're kind of, you're rooting for them to take down some of these soups, but you're kind of in the back of your mind, like, how are you going to do it? And that's the problem I have with some of the series, too, is where Starlight is talking to her mother. And, uh, you know, she's talking, she's trying to go deep with what's going on with her joining the seven and a lot of the things that she thought was going to happen not happening like her saving people more like her just it's a publicity kind of thing she didn't think it was going to be like what it is when she joined up and of course there was an incident with her uh right when she just gets into the freaking office so she's talking to her mother and they're, they're going they're she's talking like there's nobody sitting next to her on the bench 
But then when we pull out and she finishes that conversation, there's Huey next to her on the bench. And this is how the two characters meet. And this is a very important moment and very important scene going forward throughout the series. Now, for me, I don't know anybody who's going to dish out a lot of their shit, especially if I'm a soups on the bench. And there's, you know, there's a guy right next to you. So I had an issue with that. There was also another issue where Huey at one point goes into the bathroom. But this is not just the boys bathroom. It's like an all gender bathroom. But there's like multiple stalls. There's, uh, I don't know if there's urinals, but it's basically the girl's bathroom. So I was like, why is he in the women's bathroom? Why didn't he go to the guy's bathroom? Maybe I missed something, but I thought that was another kind of like, what? That would have never kind of happened. Uh, there's a little bit of that in the series where you kind of got to like brush it off a little bit, even though it's kind of like a kind of a big deal. Like, okay, this is, you're kind of throwing this in there to make the story move along. And um, at the end of the series, I think I don't have no issue on that because it was done very, it was done here and there, and it, it is kind of noticeable, but. It, it does move the story to more of a interesting aspect to it, especially with Huey and Starlight. Their relationship is kind of, it's exciting to see throughout the series because you're kind of like, you're because you're, you're following Huey, but you're also following Starlight. Starlight is the new, you know, the new hero that is now part of the Seven, and she's us as the audience uh, just seeing what, the, how crazy this world is. So... What I really loved about this series is overall the acting is fantastic. Okay, the acting is top notch. I think my two favorite actors in the show, of course, is Carl Urban and the guy who plays Homelander. Uh, I think those, those those two have such good, not together but separate. They have charisma. They have uh, they really bring those characters to life. And I really do like Huey. I think the actor who plays Huey has everything. Uh, I'm glad they didn't use Simon Pegg. I think this guy holds his own, but I do love how they use Simon Pegg as his dad. And don't expect a lot of Simon Pegg, but it's nice that they they brought him in for the show. Um, So I think the whole cast is actually really good. I think a lot of the Seven's really good. The Wonder Woman, I forget her name. The Wonder Woman, uh, basically... uh, uh, their version of Wonder Woman. Uh, she has definitely, uh, she definitely has, I think, a bigger part to play going forward. But she does a fantastic job. Uh, uh, translucent, man, translucent. What a piece of shit. <laughs> like translucent was was so great though. And I kind of, it's kind of a shame that we didn't get a lot of him in the series. But uh, translucent, uh, if you. If you watch the series, uh, you're you're gonna kind of like you're gonna be like he's the he's the definitely the introduction of what this world is capable of. Yeah, Black Noir, which you, I'll be honest with you, you don't really get too much in the series or in the first season. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna blow him up in the second season. Um, so the, the the cinematography, you know, there was a, so many times where I was watching this and I was like, man, that looks great. That looks like this is a really good looking show. Like the the cinematography, the the lighting, the lighting especially. I thought a lot like man, this kind of some of these parts you could make this a feature film. Of course, uh, it's best off as a TV series because uh, eight episodes. So Game of Thrones had what eight episodes last season? The la- the season finale. Eight episodes on that. And I always said that they needed way more episodes than eight episodes. But this is the type of series, The Boys, where eight episode is perfectly fine. Uh, a lot of the Netflix series, there's like The Punisher, uh, even uh, um, the uh, Daredevil, you know, shortening up these episodes of the season sometimes works. Eight episodes doesn't seem like much, but when you're sitting there for an hour and maybe a couple more minutes, it, it's, it's definitely enough to tell a story. You don't want any fat left over and i didn't feel like this show had any fat i thought the pacing was great i thought you know there was nothing there where i would kind of like cut you know there i was watching the series and i just didn't see too much of the where they could have left it on the cutting room floor i thought it, the pacing was fantastic um music's great uh, the introduction when the, the actual like you know when the boys pops up a lot of the introductions are great i like that uh this show Definitely needs to be watched because it's a very, very fascinating show. It's it's basically if you're a superhero guy and you love comics, this is kind of, this is the type of show you want. You want to see 
when superheroes have all this power and how how corrupt they are i mean there's parts there's sex parties there's orgies there's they're getting shit they're getting real in here there's one soup who is a what was a christian man who's saying wash or god wash the gay away basically and in the background he's he's like fondling men kissing men like this is the the dirty of the dirty you know this is the public image which i think you know i think this is a great series to watch and see how it is because it kind of uh just because it's dealing with superheroes doesn't mean it's not dealing with everyday kind of themes you know so uh the boys man the boys season two is coming up and i cannot wait i think this series is fantastic i highly recommend watching the boys season one and then going straight into season two it's gonna be hard because i think they do a weekly basis not just a binge watch but i'm glad i got i found this uh show gotta give shout outs to ethan who have been hounding me to watch this show so this is your one review uh but yeah guys if you have seen the boys what do you think about it and are you really kind of in love with it as i am because i really want to go into those graphic novels now now um, i hear it gets more bizarre uh so we'll see how that goes but great show great series check it out and i will be talking more uh just overall the boys season two and everything so if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button put push the uh icon the little bell so you can get notifications on new videos uh subscribe to the channel it'd be much appreciated and then uh, we'll have more content on your way i'm dan man aka daniel's son you guys have a good day